I have a little additional update for us all. Apparently the CME has arrived. Uh, I've been looking to try and find the wind speeds and I'm his asset and I have not been able to really get a good reading on a wind speed from anywhere. <clears throat> I usually go to the ACE real-time monitor and uh, they're just not showing it so I can't really tell you the wind speed. Well this is a little different of an article. Could be the strong, strongest since 05 and affect the astronauts. Well, this one says the Earth is being bombarded with radiation from the biggest storm in more than six years. More to come from the fast-moving eruption. The flare occurred about 11 Eastern, 10 Central my time Sunday and will hit the Earth with three different effects at three different times. The biggest issue is radiation. Radiation is mostly a concern for satellite disruption and astronauts. It can cause communications, problems for polar traveling airplanes. Radiation from Sunday's flare arrived at Earth an hour later and will likely continue through Wednesday. Levels are considered strong, but other storms have been more severe. There are two levels of radiation in the NOAA's scale severe and extreme. The radiation in the form of protons came flying out of the sun at 93 million miles per hour. <clears throat> you could see that whenever I put the images up there for you. The whole volume of space between here and Jupiter is just filled with protons and you just don't get rid of them like that. That's why the effects will stick around for a couple of days. The NASA flight surgeon and other solar experts examined the flares affected effects and decided the six astronauts on the space station don't have to do anything to protect themselves. First comes electromagnetic radiation. They're telling you a solar eruption is followed by a one, two, three punch. The first comes electromagnetic radiation followed by radiation in the form of protons. And finally, the coronal mass ejection. The plasma from the sun itself hits. Usually it travels about one or two million miles per hour, but this storm is particularly speedy and is doubling that, it looks like. It's shooting out at four million miles per hour. <coughs> it's the plasma that causes much of the noticeable problems on the Earth, such as electrical grid outages. In 89, a solar storm caused a massive blackout in Quebec. This but this coronal mass ejection seems likely to be moderate, with a chance for becoming strong. The worst of it is likely to go north of Earth. Unlike last October when a freak storm caused auroras to be seen as far south as Alabama, the northern lights aren't likely to dip too far south this time. I'm going to get you a couple of videos here, so. In the past several years, the sun had been quiet. Part of that was a normal calm of the 11-year cycle of activity. Well, they thought it was going to quiet down into a quiet cycle. Now they say it doesn't seem as likely. We haven't had anything like this for a number of years. It's kind of special. It's special to them. Well, that's uh, pretty well it, it looks like. At least on Huffington Post. Huff Post Science. So it is here. <clears throat> the arrival has been made. They're expecting it to be moderate as far as earthquakes go. The last video I put to you, the 6.3 near Fiji is the largest one that I've heard today, right now. I believe we did see a lower magnitude in uh, the western part of Texas, I believe it was. I think it was uh, 3.6, somewhere around that range. 
but I just wanted to get that out there and let you all know it has arrived and this is what their latest writings are so God bless you all hope everyone's safe and hope nothing bad happens I'll talk to you soon